everyone Sheila back again welcome to my channel I am knitting oh my battery is running low I better plug it in oh I've got it plugged in I forgot to switch it on I'll have to lean over and switch it on that's better It suddenly brightened up a little bit when I moved there, but never mind. But I am knitting. This is the sleeve. This is the afternoon. It's half one now, and I'm doing what I do my orders in the after afternoon. I'm nearly up to the armholes. This is the first sleeve. So it's not going to take much longer. But I have had a parcel this morning I'll put that down just a small one parcel this is from um, a lady called Michelle she sent me some happy meal some um, wool a number of weeks ago and she messaged me afterwards and said she had found one of the balls that she was going to send me um, I don't know if it was under a table or under a chair where she hadn't seen it had rolled out of the way and after she had all had parceled it all up and sent it to me so I know what it is but I'm going to show you anyway oh and I can't open that I haven't got my scissors here my scissors are in the other room I'll have to go and get them You'd think I'd be prepared by now, wouldn't you? But I forgot I was using these in the, um, the other room the other day. <laughs> that was, there was a few balls of this. I'm not sure, I can't remember how many balls there was in the, in the packets. It's upstairs in my stock room. I'd have to go and check. But she says, hello Sheila. I finally got round to posting the ball of wool that was for you in the happy meal I sent a while ago. It had rolled under the table. It had rolled under the table. Hope you are well, take care with regards, Michelle. So I now have an extra ball. It's a good job I hadn't knitted anything with this because I could have made a little bit bigger with this extra ball. But you know, well you all know the price of this is Poundland wool. And it cost Michelle, well she sent it first class, £4.45 to send that ball to me. More than what the, you could have bought quite a lot of balls of wool for that. But anyway, that was nice of her to send me that odd ball that she hadn't realised. So that's that. I'll put that over there. And I'm showing you what some of my whips, what I have been doing. This was one of the little ones that I do in the, um, in the morning. This is a in order. I try to do little ones, you know, myself. That's not orders. Just to use up the odd balls of wool. But I had to go out and buy some wool this one because I didn't have any yarn but I've got the back and the two fronts done on this one and while I was mentioning about this one when I knit it it's only got the two cables on the back I've sort of it's a little bit alteration of this pattern here this pattern here you can see it's slightly different how I've done the cables and that is slightly different to, um, to where it is on there and that pattern starts at a 26 and I'm doing this one it'll probably measure 24 inches when it's finished so I just did a little bit alteration to what the pattern actually says and I have done Irish moss stitch which is like double moss stitch instead of the single moss stitch which is on that pattern and I've added a little bit extra to the um, the cables on the, the side so it's actually my own pattern but I just used that one as a as a guide to, even though it started at 26, I had to work out the smaller sizes. What I'm going to do, 
I may possibly try to do a PDF for it because um, I'm writing each each time I do one the different size. I'll work it out from 16, 16 inch to a 24 inch. And each time I maybe just do a one, I'll write it down. But it'll be quite a while before there'll be a PDF for this because there is a lot of there's a lot of work in writing it out because you have to write. You don't just have to write out the um. You know how many rows and I'd have to work out like a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one so many times here. The sort of stitches for the cable and here and that's over. So, so that's how much I've done of that one anyway. I'm going to try to get it done for Thursday because it's um, for a friend who who lives up where my other friend lives, where we go for the bingo. So I can ho hopefully get it finished by Thursday so I can take it with me. So I've got that much done and I've started on the, um, the sleeve for it. So not be too much long she wants a little hat to go with it as well so that's that one put that down and my lemon one that i'm doing i've actually finished the front as you see here now i have the back and the front done on it and i'll be starting tonight on the sleeve I'm not sure whether to start the sleeve or to do the neck. I'd have to stitch the shoulders up and then pick up the stitches for the um, the neck. But I have put the tutorial, part two of the tutorial, up on um, my other channel on Sheila's Just Knitting. Just for the, um, the front to let anybody have a look at that may be following it. So I'll have to hopefully get some of that done a bit quicker than where I've managed the other two pieces and this is the the grey one the order I'm doing uh, for Carol that's the the back and the two fronts done and like I showed first sleeve so it shouldn't take much longer for that one once I get onto the sleeves I seem to fly after that because there's a lot less stitches and you can work it a lot faster so there's that one and then this was one I started before all the little ones that I started doing I'm trying to do this is a 26 in the rosewood one and I'm trying to to get this one finished so I can get finish putting the instructions down in my book and then do the PDF for all the sizes from a, a 20, 22 up to a 28 and this was the only one I hadn't knitted so I'm hoping to get some more of this one done as soon as I finish that that other small one I'm doing and then I started this <laughs> this is a, a doll's pram blanket so I'm going to knit this just in between, you know, maybe it's, I just spend about in, um, a half an hour, maybe it's in sometime in the morning and sometime in the afternoon. It doesn't take long to knit up because it's on seven millimetre needles. And I do have two of these to make, uh, two pram blankets. So I'm part the way through the first one. With a bit of luck, I'll get that sorted. And then the only other one I have left in my bag, which I might get round to one day and get it finished, is this one, which I have the back done. This would be one, a good one to finish for the window because it's quite thick with the kind of pattern added on. It's going to be quite warm, so I do have to get a bit more of this done. I think when I finish my yellow the lemon one and I have part of the front there they're done so hopefully I'll get a bit more of that done and I was going to go out a message today um I had a message from um Derek it was over a week about a week ago telling me to look out for some happy meal from Wool Warehouse he was sending to me and it hadn't arrived and as you probably know how I Derek had probably noticed that I hadn't put a, um, a happy meal video up from him 
So when he messaged me and uh, I told him that it hadn't arrived yet, so he got onto um, the wool warehouse and he was told by them it was sent out on the 14th of November. Well, it's now the 21st and it hasn't got here yet. And it should have got here the next day and that would have been Tuesday. So it was sent out on a Monday, so it should have been posted here on a Tuesday. Now I was out on Tuesday, so I don't know whether they've been and tried to deliver it and never put a card through my door. But I told Derek that I would go down to um, our local sorting office and see whether it's there in case um, they try, did try to deliver it and maybe didn't have a card to put through the door. I don't know, but um, there was no way I could know whether it had been tried to deliver it or not if there was no card in the, um, the door. But anyway, I left it until after lunch and I decided, oh, I better look up and see what the opening times are in case they're closed at the lunchtime. Of course, on a Monday, they're only open till 12 o'clock, so <laughs> I should have looked earlier on today, so I'm going to have to go down tomorrow and see whether it's there or not, or whether it's been lost in the post, because um, if it has been lost, I think you have to give them 10 days um, going by the email that Derek sent to me. And But that's not counting the strike days. So I'm going to tell him anyway um, after I find out whether it's in the sorting office or not and whether he has to make a claim if it's been lost in the, um, the post. But you know, these things come, these things happen. <laughs> and it looks like they're happening to me, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, I'm getting back on with my knitting. Getting some more of this one done. I'll be knitting until probably about half five before I sort my tea out. And then I'll be on with my own tonight. So with a bit of luck I should get this, at least get the sleeve finished this afternoon. Got no way else to go, nothing else to do, so that's my bit for today. So thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you another time, so bye for now.